Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you could transfer music from your Windows 10 computer to your iPhone using iTunes. It's very easy to do and today I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it. So why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to get started. Here I am on my desktop and I have five songs that are currently on my computer and I would like to put these on my iPhone. So how do I go ahead and do that? Well, I need to download and install iTunes. iTunes is the official software made by Apple that will allow me to transfer files between my devices. Not only can I use it to transfer files between my devices, I could also use it to back up my phone, I could use it to upgrade my phone, amongst other things. But today we're only interested in how to transfer music from my computer to my iPhone. So if you don't yet already have iTunes installed on your computer, click on the Start menu and then type in Microsoft Store. We're gonna get iTunes from the Microsoft Store. So once you click on the Microsoft Store, you'll see it pop up on your screen and then let's click in the top right-hand corner on Search and we're going to search for iTunes. And although we are getting it from a store, it doesn't cost anything to download download and install iTunes. You'll see the first match here says iTunes. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if you don't yet already have iTunes installed, right here you'll see an option that says install. Go ahead and click on that. If you already have iTunes installed, you could simply launch it here, or alternatively, you could have clicked on your start menu and just searched for iTunes. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app from here. If this is your first time launching the app, you'll likely have to agree to different policies and licenses and go ahead and accept all of that. And here I am in the main interface of iTunes. Now what we wanna do next is right now, I haven't yet connected my phone to the computer. So get your iPhone and then also get your lightning to USB cable, plug it into your iPhone and then also plug it into your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now here too, if this is your first time connecting your iPhone to your computer, you'll likely have to trust the device. You're also gonna have to type in your passcode, go through and do all of those steps. Now one of the things that changed here in iTunes is you'll notice now that there's an icon here for my phone. This indicates that my phone has been successfully connected to my computer and to synchronize music with our phone, let's go ahead and click on this icon. This drops me in the settings view and I'm in the summary of my settings. And we're gonna take a look at a few settings here. I'm gonna scroll down the page and under options, you see a few different checkboxes. The first one is automatically sync when this iPhone is connected. I currently have that checked. What you can also do is there's another checkbox for sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. So in the future, if you don't wanna use your cable to sync music files with your phone, you could go ahead and check this. Now down below there are a few more settings that have to do with transferring songs. One of them is convert higher bitrate songs to, then there's a drop down list, AAC. AAC is simply a format that songs are saved in. So let's say that maybe you have a wave on your computer or you have a very high quality MP3 or other type of music file. What you could do is you could use iTunes to automatically convert the higher bitrate song. Maybe you wanna save a little bit of space on your iPhone. In general though, I'm just gonna leave it in the default file format that the song is already in. And lastly, there's another setting here that says manually manage music and videos. I'll come back to this at the end. Before we continue, I wanna show you where iTunes is going to look on your Windows PC for music. So let's open up File Explorer. To open File Explorer, you could click on the Start menu and type in File Explorer, or you could press the Windows key and the E key at the same time, so E for Explorer, and that will pull up your File Explorer. Now within File Explorer, you should see an option that says this PC, let's expand that. And within this PC, there's a category for music. By default, iTunes looks in the music folder for any songs. So what I'm gonna do is let me go back to my desktop and I'm gonna select these five songs and I'm gonna move them over into my music 
folder in File Explorer. So now iTunes will be able to see the songs in this location. Let's say that you have songs saved on your computer in a different folder that you would also like iTunes to look at. What you could do is go up to the File menu and then you could click on Add Folder to Library and then you can navigate to a different location on your computer and then iTunes will look there as well for music. But in my case, I'm satisfied with iTunes just looking at my music folder. So now that I've set that up, what I wanna do next is let's click on the music setting here. Within the music view, I currently have sync music and it's unchecked. So let's go ahead and check this because we wanna sync music between our device and the phone. So you'll see a summary of how many songs are detected and you have a few different options within this view. You could sync the entire music library so it simply takes everything and that'll transfer it over to your iPhone or you could go through and select playlists, artists, albums, and genres if you don't wanna sync everything. In my case, I simply wanna go ahead and, and sync everything. And then if you have any, let's say videos or voice memos, you can also sync those files as well but in my case I simply want to sync my entire music library and once I'm satisfied with this what I'm gonna do is I'll go down here and then I click on sync so what this will do is this will sync all of the music files over to my iPhone and here I have my iPhone and to access the music files that have synced, I'm gonna swipe down and I'm gonna search for music and I'm gonna click on the music app. So this will bring up the music app and what we'll see now is down at the bottom of the music app, I see recently added, it has all the songs that were on my computer. So these five songs that I transferred, they are now on my phone and so I'll click on one of them just to verify that it works. Works. So there it goes, the song is playing just as I expected. That synced all of my songs over to my phone. What I also want to show is earlier in the summary view, I called out that there's a setting to manually man manage music and videos. If I check this box, what will happen is it'll no longer automatically synchronize all of my music. So if I click back into the music setting here, you'll see that sync music is now unchecked and it's no longer automatically syncing my music. I'm gonna click on this back arrow to go back to my PC and when I do this now I could click through all of my music and my different songs and here I see I have this cartoon on and on song I could simply click on this and then drag and drop it over onto my iPhone so that's one way that I could manually sync music between my computer and my iPhone However, in most cases, whatever music you have on your computer, you probably also wanna synchronize with your phone. So instead of going through one by one and synchronizing songs with your phone, I would just recommend syncing all of your music with your phone. All right, well that was a quick tutorial showing you how you could transfer music from your computer to your iPhone. If you learned how to transfer music from your computer to your iPhone, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.